Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel, Natalie's Vitality. So as you can see, I'm in my uh, nice Sunday gear, nice and comfy. It's my favorite way to cook. And today we are going to be making vegan scallops. Now I know that sounds crazy, but we're going to use these giant king oyster mushrooms. This is what they look like. And we're going to use these to make scallops. And we're going to do them in a white wine lemon broth. They're going to be delicious. And before you think that you can't make this because you don't know where you're going to find these crazy mushrooms, they're at pretty much any Asian market. And when I was living in a small town in South Carolina, we had about three Asian markets around us. So I guarantee that you have one around and you just Google it. So we're going to start off with a marinade and let it sit in that for an hour. And we'll come back to get into these cooked up. So just keep watching. We're going to go ahead and start with our clean king oyster mushrooms. We're going to chop off the bottoms and the tops. You can go ahead and save the tops of the mushrooms for something else, like a stir fry. But they don't really represent scallops, so we won't use them in this recipe. Now you're just going to cut these into inch thick slices. You just want them to be the same thickness as scallops. Go ahead and put them all into a dish and squeeze out the juice of one lemon. I like to roll them first because it makes more juice come out of the lemon. And then you're going to go ahead and add up some sea salt to your lemon juice and just pour that lemon juice over the scallops. Now cover these up and let it sit for an hour. After an hour we're going to mince three cloves of garlic and we're also going to go ahead and slice two shallots. I like to use shallots because they have a sweetness that onions don't necessarily have. If you only have onions you can go ahead and use those. I just prefer shallots in this recipe. And once you've cut those up, you can see our scallops are really like a scallop texture, which is awesome. And we're just going to put these on paper towel and cover it with another paper towel to just to kind of dry them off before we put them into heat because you don't want any oil popping at you. So then you're going to heat a pan to medium high heat and you're going to put a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in there as well as a tablespoon of vegan butter. I like to use both because they have distinct flavors. The butter has a nice spritzness while the olive oil is really robust. So we'll go ahead and just melt those two in there together, get them all mixed up. And after you've done that, go ahead and add some sea salt to four cups of water to boil your pasta. Now put your scallops on a plate and go ahead and add them to that pan that we just heated up. Now you're going to cook these scallops for 5 to 7 minutes on each side, however long it takes for them to get nice and golden brown. They're already looking like scallops. Now while those are cooking, go ahead and squeeze the juice of another lemon. We're going to use this lemon in the broth for our scallops because lemon just pairs really well with seafood and so that's what we're trying to do here is mimic a seafood dish. Now, after seven minutes, look at those scallops. They should be nice and golden brown on one side, so just flip all of those over and let them cook for another seven minutes. But first, add a tablespoon of butter to that pan just so that the scallops don't burn on the other side, because as you can see, they have soaked up a lot of that oil butter mixture. Then to our scallops, we're gonna add a cup of white wine. We're just gonna let this cook off for about three to five minutes just until that white wine taste isn't super strong. Also to our broth, we added a sheet of nori, sushi nori, torn up into strips like this. We also added two cups of vegetable broth as well as that lemon juice that we had just squeezed. Into the other pot, you're gonna add a tablespoon of vegan butter as well as a little bit of olive oil. Again, we just really like that mixture. And you're gonna go ahead and add the sliced shallots to this. Let those just cook for a little while until they're nice and soft and fragrant. Once those are good, add your garlic in and just stir the garlic and the shallots together until everything is nice and soft and fragrant together. Now you're gonna add this mixture right here to the broth with everything we have just to get that flavor infused into the scallops as well. Let that simmer for another five minutes. Once that has simmered for about five minutes, you go ahead and take the scallops out as well as the 
the seaweed because what we're gonna do is put all of our pasta into this delicious, delicious broth. So add that pasta in and just mix it until the broth is all mixed throughout the pasta. This is gonna make a really nice saucy pasta. Now to this, just add about a tablespoon of garlic powder as well as some cracked pepper, a little bit of salt, a half a juice of lemon, as well as about two teaspoons of nutritional yeast for a cheesy flavor. Now just mix all those ingredients in and your pasta is all ready. Then just place some pasta with the scallops on top. I sprinkled a little basil on just so it looks pretty. And your plate is ready, it looks delicious. Let's give it a taste. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and give our non seafood scallops a taste. Get a little pasta. Wow, okay. The texture of these is so scallop-like, it's insane. Lemon and white wine are perfect in here. This is so, so good and it's really easy, a lot easier than I would have imagined vegan scallops to be when I first heard that they existed. So I definitely recommend trying this recipe at home. And if you like this video, as always, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, nice, lovely comments, share it, and also make sure that you follow me on my Instagram, Natalie's Vitality, for a whole bunch more vegan recipes. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Peace. Thanks for watching.